around New Jersey, around the clock. This is News 12 New Jersey. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Denise Verfossi along with Della Cruz. BP is onto another plan, well, number three actually, to try and stop hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil from leaking into the Gulf of Mexico. The company started drilling a second relief well near the site of the broken well. Both wells will take months to complete, but this will be a more permanent solution instead of the tube currently being used to siphon that spilling oil. BP is also planning to blast mud and concrete into the leak to plug the spill. Students in one classroom right here in New Jersey also have their own ideas on how to deal with that spill in the Gulf. As News 12 New Jersey's Carla Gardenia reports, some chemistry students in Monmouth County think they have a solution. This group of sophomores and juniors at Colts Neck High School were put to the test by their teacher, Michelle Silverstone. They had to find a non-toxic substance that could separate oil from water. As 16-year-old Ryan Almers explains, they found vegetable fiber works best. And it's perfectly edible for like all like wildlife. It's, they can eat it. It's, that's it. They wouldn't have to clean it up. No, no, it totally it dissolves. Vegetable fiber wasn't their first choice. They tried everything from pasta to matzo ball mix of all things. They even tried antacid. Here's what they found. Pretend the salt water in this dish is the ocean, the pebbles, the shoreline. When oil is added, the oil flows all over the surface. But as you can see, when vegetable fiber is sprinkled along the coast, it repels the oil, pushing it back into one area, keeping it from spreading. And while it's not like a permanent solution to pick up the oil, we think that it could uh, kind of help out for a while, you know, until someone finds a uh, real solution to pick up the oil. This is, I think, the teaching moment that every teacher hopes for. And I feel blessed and honored that I was able to do this with the students and also make impact. An impact because scientists are taking the idea seriously. They're now looking into whether this classroom experiment could actually work in the Gulf, where there are variables such as wildlife, wind, and currents. In Colts Neck, Carla Bardinia, News 12, New Jersey. Very impressive students. Their teacher submitted the plan to the Environmental Protection Agency, FEMA, and a private company in Texas for consideration. That private company says it's interested in taking the idea to the Oil Spill Recovery Institute in Alaska for more testing. Brilliant minds of our U.S. students at work. I love it. The BP has an online suggestion box open to anyone with any idea about how to contain the spill. 4,800 suggestions have come into their box so far. We surveyed the internet to see some of the kinds of ideas people have for ways to help. There's a Facebook group called Wax for Oil Spills. More than 700 users who are sure that if you pour wax on the oil and it solidifies, it will make it easy to scoop up. There's our solid wax. This is absolutely amazing stuff. At Coltonek High School in New Jersey, students in Michelle Silverstone's science class came up with the idea of using vegetable fiber, Metamucil, to contain the spill and make it easier to clean. See, what we're observing now is the oil pushing back away from the coastline. We couldn't help but notice all of the intriguing solutions average folks are throwing out there all the different ways to clean this up. It's right. really a necessity, the mother invention. Creative minds all coming together. Take a look at this. These men from CW Robots Contracting in Florida have become YouTube stars. They're showing how hay can be used to soak up the spill, and now local county officials have bales of hay at the ready just in case BP makes the call. There's some high school kids in New Jersey did a class experiment with Metamucil, using Metamucil to corral the spill. That works. Uh, you need a lot of it, I suppose, but it's good to know.